Hi, welcome back to the Milk and Honey Life channel and welcome to all things Valentine's Day. I am so ready for romantic cuddly season and my house is so ready. <laughs> as you can see, exhibit A. Um, so I just wanted to take you through my apartment, do a little Valentine's Day decoration tour, and have a mini vlog, hangout, cozy goodness session. <laughs> it is cold and dreary and rainy in Los Angeles and that never happens, so I am just thoroughly living it up. So let's start with a cozy tour. By the front door, and this is the festive scene when you come in. I love doing a different little piece of seasonal fun on this sort of buffet credenza piece that we have and so I brought my pink typewriter out because what could be more valentiney than that this is um you guys ask all the time this is from the Michaels store actually the brand is we are memory keepers and it does work it's a new typewriter so I can get replacement parts for it and everything like that so it's really convenient although I do love my vintage typewriters best of all and I just typed a little corny little love note on there just to keep it extra festive. I have this towel. I think this was from the Target dollar spot last year. Just kind of threw that down. And then I made a little display here of my favorite things. These are almost all from the Madonna Inn, which is heaven on earth for me. Just an incredible, romantic, beautiful hotel in Central Coast, California. So I collect these goblets from there. Aren't they so beautiful? Oh my gosh. And so I set out some of the ones that were like Valentine colors, red, white, and pink, and a smaller pink one. I just cherish those. I also have this bottle of wine that was from there. It was so good. And after we drank it, I put lights in it. So you can get these like, it looks like a wine cork, but it has a chain of lights connected to it and it lights up at night, so it's cute. And this adorably, kitschy little friend was also from the Target dollar spot I think last year and this guy I just love him I just think they're so fun I put out some heart doilies I have my record player here and I put this record even though it's a Christmas album I mean just look at it and then here in the kitchen I was so excited because I found Valentine themed dots so you guys might remember from Christmas this is my gumdrop tree Love this, so many fond childhood memories for me. So I was happy to take the Valentine's Day dots, which are just pink and red dots with like little white bottoms on them. And I set this little tree up again, so that just makes me happy. I have these little plastic hearts in the base of it and another doily. And then the kitchen, none of this is actually Valentine's. This is just my heart and soul. <laughs> which kind of does look like Valentine's because there's a lot of pink, as with anything that I love. But, oh, okay, actually this towel, I just finished embroidering this, and it is not February yet, at least right now when I'm filming this. And I had to put it up right away because I just thought it turned out so cute. I was so happy with it. I love doing this for a hobby. And I just have my usual little pops of pink out on the countertops in here. Um, for the sink, we have rose water and ivy hand soap from Bath & Body Works. This has quickly become my obsession, my favorite, favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. I am so obsessed with that. And then I also picked up this rose hand lotion. I always like to do a little lotion after I wash my hands or to use that before I put on dish gloves. So those are my little sink companions. <laughs> and for kitchen scents right now, this I've had since Christmas. And obviously I ran out of the peppermint dish soap a long time ago, but I just love the packaging so much that I keep refilling it with other soaps and using it like a refillable container because I'm all about that pink and red. Same thing with this. This is actually like a DIY vinegar counter spray that I mixed up, but I keep putting it in that container because I just love it. And then I also have on the counter here these ramekins, which I thought were so precious. They were from Joann's this year. And they say yours and mine, and they're pink and red. Something about that font, I don't know, that just charmed me. So I, did, I try not to buy a whole ton of new decor this year, but I did definitely pick those up. And then coming into the living area, this is like Valentine Central. I just can't even tell you how content my heart is because if I had my way, our whole home would be all pink with pops of red and um, 
this is like the one time a year I have an excuse to really do it up. So for our little tablescape here, I have this cute X's and O's and hearts vinyl tablecloth from Joann's. These placemats were from the Target dollar spot again last year or whenever it was that they were like on, on the ball. And I always like to have little pink cloth napkins and I always love to have fresh roses or fresh flowers in the house. And I got these at Trader Joe's. They have the most affordable flowers. I got two bouquets of roses for $8 total. And I just split them up all around the house. Combo of pink and red. And I just think they're so beautiful. And I also, at Christmas time, you might remember, I did pink candlesticks in these red holders. And I just loved that combo. It makes every meal feel so much more romantic. So I just got a fresh set of candlesticks to put in there. And then just around the TV we have, oh, I don't have my fireplace on. Okay, now it's romantic in here. We have the fireplace going. They seem to have taken this off of Netflix, so I had to pull it up on YouTube. But dramatic reveal. My favorite thing ever has been my Valentine's Day tree. It just makes me so, so happy. I feel like my life is complete now because every single year I've always thought it would be so charming to make over the Christmas tree into a Valentine's tree. I know so many people have a story about like how their grandma kept the tree up all year and put something different. My sibling said like before I was born, my mom used to do this. So it's just such a cute, cute idea. And my birthday is a week after Valentine's day. So I always thought I should do this and like leave it up and make it like a birthday tree because that's my style of extraness, <laughs> but I never did it until now. And I think, I guess what was holding me back was like, what would people think when they came over? And then now finally here we are in quarantine, still locked down. And I'm like, nobody's coming over. <laughs> it's time to do the Valentine's tree. So I got a few supplies at Dollar Tree. This sort of tinsel heart was from there, this red garland and these felt hearts. And these are just like decorative craft hearts that I just stuck an ornament hoop hook <laughs> into. And then everything else is, I kept out like some of my pink favorite ornaments from our Christmas tree, the pink garland from the Christmas tree. And I also had a lot of these adorable vintage Valentine's card printouts that I just printed myself and I just hooked them to the tree, so. I just, I love this. I come out here in the morning and I have my coffee and I feel so cozy and romantic. So highly recommend if you also have been always longing for Valentine's tree, I highly recommend doing it. I spent like what, $5 total probably on this um, for the decorations from the dollar store and then just reusing what we already had. And then I have these gifts under here. I actually need to mail these, but I thought until I do, I might as well enjoy them, make it feel like extra festive and Christmassy. And then we also, of course, still have these twinkly icicle lights hanging up. I put them up in the fall. I loved them with my fall decor. I loved them with my Christmas decor. And now I'm loving them with my Valentine's decor. And I don't know how much longer they'll last, but the lighting in here at night is so nice. It is so cozy. Um, but this section went out, which is such a bummer. So I, I think after Valentine's, they'll finally come down. But for now, I just love the bonus twinkle in here. And here we have the current couch scape. I brought out my red, white, and pink pillows, pink throw blanket, and I love it. I think the pink is here to stay. <laughs> Don't tell Nate. But um, for now, I just love using those Valentine's colors together. And I put a cute little tray here with some of my favorite adorable red and pink books still burning through my stash of winter candy apple my favorite one of my top favorites from bath and body works and so feels extra fitting at this time of year and then over here on the side table i just have some more roses from that bouquet i mean ugh, look at that it's so pretty they're on their they're kind of on their last leg but like this is just opening so beautifully and they smell so good it's amazing what a few dollars at trader joe's will do for your house. And I have this pink heart dish full of mints. Oh, you guys should, I gotta show you guys my phone case. I think this is so pretty. That black circle is my magnet that holds it to my car. So that's not as cute, but isn't this case so pretty? It's like really sparkly and it has 
roses, as you're sensing. I'm obsessed. <laughs> and butterflies. And then it has a little ring to help you hold it. And like, why not have some bling, you know? So I'm loving my case. And then I always like to do something festive with my husband's Batman collection, as one does. <laughs> my favorite thing at Christmas is to put those little Santa hats on them. So for this season, I put little rose petals, like fake dollar store rose petals in there. But I was thinking for next year, how cute would it be if I got a bunch of tiny roses and put them on their like lapels, <laughs> like little boutonnieres. Oh, that'd be so cute. Luckily, my husband kind of like tolerates and is amused by whatever seasonal decor I cook up in there. And I put a rose in our little baby Yoda's lapel. <laughs> And these were also from the dollar spot. I just, I love the theme of love letters and Valentine cards and like all that cute stuff. So that's an extra touch in here. And then popping into the bedroom, I didn't change a whole lot, but I did add that cute pink heart pillow on the bed. This was actually in the kids section at Target and it just was this pillow that said shine. And I got it and I added this little ruffle because a ruffle makes anything a million percent cuter, <laughs> more vintage and girlier. So I just put that ruffle and I hide the side that says shine because that's kind of random. And I think that's a fun little Valentine pillow and I think it needs to stay all year, but don't tell my husband that yet. <laughs> and then over here we have my extremely well-loved vanity corner that's always kind of evolving and it has all of my favorite most precious special things around here and so I didn't do too much extra for Valentine's Day because it's just always extra right <laughs> but I do have another little vase of those roses like I'm telling you I get so much mileage out of these roses and like ugh, look at that one it's so beautiful oh my gosh you smell it So nice. So I kind of moved this from my vanity to my bedside table so I can always have roses by me in here. And then and then also in the bathroom. Oh, I don't think I've shown you guys this on YouTube yet, but I made the counter pink in here. So that's a huge win. <laughs> so much better. I really never liked the countertops. They were the same that I had in my kitchen. So you might have seen my kitchen renovation where I totally covered those up and now I've covered these up and soon I'm going to cover this floor up because I just don't love the default rental options here. But so again, none of this is really special for Valentine's Day, but it's just always Valentine-y. But I do have this cute hand soap from Bath and Body Works. I just thought the packaging was adorable. It is sweet sugar sprinkles scent. And I have the lotion in that favorite scent, rose water and ivy. I put some more roses in here. Ha, ah, so pretty. I love just putting a bud or a couple buds in various, like, not even a vase, just like a little found object. So this is a beautiful lemonade that I finished and I just used it for a vase. And then this fabulous display is actually all soaps, bath bombs, and edible looking bath treats. So my friend Annette came up with this geniusness to put it on the cake tray so it looks just that fabulous. And I love it. It's kind of making me hoard my bath bombs though because they're so pretty. <laughs> but it fits in with Valentine's Day too. So that is the situation in there. And I think that's pretty much it. Nate is in our joint office working right now. So I'll leave him be, but I did put that cute little sign on the door and there's no decorations inside the room. It's just like half my stuff and half his stuff now. But I do also have this hallway desk and again, this is not Valentine's, but this is just me, so it's very pink. And actually this is kind of a plot spoiler for some of my friends watching this, but I'm sending out Valentine cards. We're doing a Valentine Galentine girls exchange in the Milk and Honey Life super top secret Patreon club. <laughs> so um, if you're watching this and you're signed up for the exchange, then forget that you saw this because these are the cards I'm working on to send out. And that's so much fun. I love doing, like I said, like love letters and like Valentine's cards. It's just so fun. And that pretty much sums it up for the decorating. Yeah, I'm very happy I could just 
stay home forever, which is good because that's what I have to do. <laughs> so I thought just to kind of round out the vlog, we could make a special beverage together. Can you guys see me okay? It's kind of dark right here. But I found this at Target and I was so intrigued. I would like to mention for the millionth time, I am on a huge rose kick. Like everything rose, rose flowers, rose scented, everything. The taste of rose, all of it. I love it. So I had to get this. It's a rose pink latte by Tazo. And they make such good teas and also such good like iced teas. So I was very curious to try this, which is actually a latte. And it says, blend with milk and enjoy hot or iced. Caffeine free and herbal and pink, I presume. Very excited for that. So I think I'll do an iced one just to try out the flavor and to use my beautiful Madonna in glass. <laughs> so yeah, let's make a little latte. So I put a few cubes of ice into my goblet and let's see what the right ratio is. It says mix equal parts of the latte with milk. So let's do about half. Oh, it is not really as pink as I thought. And then I'm just gonna add um, regular organic milk. I think it would be good with like almond milk or a lighter milk, but I don't really have any right now. So we'll see how this combo is. Okay, I'm taking you over by my Valentine tree so we can try this properly. This is like the world's longest straw, but I had to use my pink straw. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. It's not, it doesn't taste like other rose teas that I've tried. <laughs> I don't know if this one gets the Milk and Honey Life stamp of approval. It might be better hot. Also, maybe I didn't use enough tea. Maybe it's like too milky. Maybe it needs a sweetener. I don't usually sweeten my tea, but it tastes like very much like plant life. <laughs> like, it's kind of earthy, but it's not terrible. It's certainly worth trying and it's a very festive Valentine beverage. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, the jury's still out on this one, but we do love the beautiful pink goblet and we do love our Valentine's tree. So I hope this gave you just a little bit of the cozy February vibes so we can start the second month of 2021 fresh. And it's already been a dramatic year, much like last year. So I'm all for bringing in all of the little romance that we can and just savoring the good things. Um, and making the most of them and making as much twinkly, happy fun as possible. Because as I always like to say, you deserve it. We have to do it for ourselves, even though it's hard to make things special for yourself. Like what better time than Valentine's Day to get yourself a little gift, put it under a little Valentine's tree and like treat yourself because no one knows what you really want better than you do. So food for thought. <laughs> and yeah, me and my latte are gonna I don't think I like this. <laughs> but I'm gonna still cozy up with it and enjoy this rainy, dreary afternoon. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. So hit subscribe, say hi, and I love you. Bye, happy Valentine's Day.